Hello, how are you? Good, good, how are you? Good, so tell me, did you hear about the free software movement? No, not really, what is it? It is a free operating system that lets everybody use it for free. It is for the betterment of the society to fix, help and improve versions on the free software. A neighbor can use it for free. Wow, that is very interesting. I have never heard about it before. Yes, it was started by Richard Stallman. He created the free software movement. This software is free for anybody to use? Yes. Do you know what a hacker is? I think so. Isn't a hacker a person who gets into a system that isn't his and takes all its information? That is what people think of it now but a hacker. A free-spirited hacker is someone who is like Richard Stallman. A free-spirited hacker as he calls it is someone who is exploring limits of possible shred software. I never knew about that either. Do you have an example of what a free software is? Because I'm still not 100% sure what it is. Of course. One very popular example is Wikipedia. Do you know Wikipedia? Yes, I do. It is the free license of Encyclopedia. Jimmy Wales was the founder of this software. So, I am guessing that it is a free software because it lets anybody go into that website and change the versions posted for free and to spread the knowledge for free. How about another example? Sure. How about Mozilla Firefox? How about it? Are you aware of it as well? My kids probably know about it, but I'm not sure I understand it completely. It was founded by two teenagers in the 90s who tried to create a new browser and succeeded. It is a browser that was meant to be better than Microsoft. It is faster, it has no pop-ups and it has less of a chance to have viruses coming through the computer. Wow! That is great, I am learning a lot. It is interesting how these developers have thought about these programs and the thought of it being free. But tell me, is it really free? You know, now that I think about it, it is not really free. You need to have people set up the system and you need to set up the codes so to set it up, it is probably not free. You have to pay those people but using it is free. I think that's the point. People should be using it for free and not make money for those rich people up top. You need to see how technology have changed and who throughout these 40 years software movement became more aware now. I agree with you, it is not free to develop and create but it is very knowledgeable. Thank you for letting me know all these new things about the free software and the movement of it. Sure, sir, no problem. I'm happy you came to my special edition interview since my retirement.